Hi everyone, this is a video on how to use doxy.me for providers. So to begin, type in doxy.me in your web browser. Now depending on what device you are using, you will need to use a different web browser. So if you're using an iOS device or an iPhone, uh, go ahead and use Safari. If you're using Android, use Google Chrome. If you're using a PC or a Mac, you can use Safari, Google Chrome, or Firefox. So in the top right hand corner, you'll see the stack of three lines. Click on that, type in, or click on sign up for free at the bottom underneath accounts, and click on I'm a provider. I already have an account, but I'll, I'll kind of show you guys how to set up an account because I think everyone watching this video will need to set one up. Sign up, say who you are, Mr. Mrs., first, last name, and you. the fun part, you get to make your own room name. Email, whatever email you want to use. Uh, I would suggest you guys use your paw box and then set up a password. Click those boxes and sign up. I'll show you mine here i'm already signed in i tried to record a video earlier and i couldn't hide my passcode so i already signed in so you guys didn't have to see my passcode okay so my uh, link to get into my room code or to get into my doxy room is uh https dot forward slash doxy.me forward slash playzone333. So back whenever you guys were signing up, you could make your own room name. My room name is playzone333. Uh, so once you get there, uh, this is the code that you will share with whatever client you're meeting with and you'll set up a time and you'll send this, this link to them via email or via text message, whichever is easiest. Okay, in order to enable video and your microphone, it's a little different based on whether you're on a desktop setting or if you're on the mobile um, website setting like I am right now. But uh, you see where the spinning black, there's a little circle spinning and a black screen. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, well, it's not working right now. Okay, but if you if you were to click on that, it would ask if you want to enable audio and video, just allow. And uh, if you're on the desktop setting, when you enter your room, it will actually prompt you to allow access to your microphone and your, your video. At the top left hand corner, again, if you see those three stacks, those three lines, top left hand corner, click on those. And so when, when your patient does get the link and they they click on the link and they access your room uh it will take them to uh kind of a waiting kind of a waiting room until you allow them access into your room so what you have to do it's this is very important when you see you have to keep track of if the patient is queued in here and what's going to happen is if the patient is queued you'll see a video or a picture some kind of maybe still image of them uh, underneath the patient queue, <laughs> go ahead and click on them and it'll say start video recording or start um, meeting or something like that and cl right click on that and then you can begin your meeting. If you do not click that button, they will not be allowed to access your room. So it's very important that you do that. Um, and just to reiterate, they do need this room code. If you If they don't have the room code, they cannot enter um, for a telehealth meeting. Okay, another really important thing, guys. Go ahead and click on account settings. When you first signed up, if you didn't get your BAA uh, business associate agreement form, you need to do it now. So again, top left-hand corner, click on the three stacks, the three lines, click on account settings, click on BAA. There will be a number of, a series of questions that you have to answer. I'm pretty sure you have to answer every single one, so don't leave anything blank. I would probably put down 
um, the the company's email um, business address don't put you don't need to put down your business address we work all work for the same company go ahead and put the the company's business address if you have any questions on on the company's business address you can go to our website and find it on there under contact us it's a tab on the top um, right hand corner go ahead and, and look up the the address and put that into um, into there uh, if you have any questions as far as uh, how to do anything else with Doxy Me, please email me. Please email Stacy. I think we can answer the, any of your questions. But you, um, when you get your your business associate agreement, send it to Shusuke. We need to keep a file of that. And if you're if you're having a hard time with this, again, reach out to me. Download it, put it on your computer, email it to Shusuke. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I hope everyone's healthy. Talk to you soon. Bye.